Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous video, uh, we have discussed Flynn's text. Uh, sorry, in previous video, we have discussed the pipelining concept of pipelining. Okay, and there we have taken the example of assembly line of bicycle, and then we have tried to understand that how it uh, how we can achieve the parallel execution using uh, uniprocessor system. So uh, let us start our discussion. In this tutorial, we will take one small example. Let's say uh, there are three variables a, b, and c, and I want to perform the operation a into b uh, plus c. So for one value, it's fine. There is not the there will be not any requirement of pipeline. Yes, but let's assume that we are having seven element. Okay, so we are having three array. One array contains seven value for a. Another array will contain seven value for b, and third array will contain seven value for c. Okay, so here we will write it using a i. B I C I. Okay, so if we try to construct a pipeline, okay, then it will look like this. Here we are having two register R1 and R2. So in R1 value of uh, A will be stored means we will start with one. So first first uh, value of array A will be stored into R1. Here first value of array B will be stored into R2. Then multiplication will be done and it will be stored into R3. So while that multiplication will be stored into R3, at that time first value of uh, C will be stored into R4 and then addition will be performed and then answer will be stored into the R5. Okay, so now uh, it is looking linear okay in simple terms it is looking in linear okay so let us just try to uh, convert this into the pipeline so uh, fetching two operand a and b from memory uh, memory it will be in segment one in segment two there will be multiplication of two number as well as fetching the third operand which is c while in segment 3 it will perform the addition of uh, this multiplication of a and b and c okay so it will perform the addition of c and whatever multiplication we have got into r3 and then result will be stored into r5 so uh, let me write down all the registers and uh, so you can have idea that how it will work so here in first segment r1 and r2 in next segment it is r3 and uh, r4 and in next segment it is r5 yes so we will go uh, one by one so what will happen at first clock cycle so at first clock cycle okay a1 and b1 will be retrieved into r1 and r2 what will happen at next clock cycle this a1 and b1 will be multiplied into segment 2 and next of means next value of c means c1 will be retrieved from the memory so here in next clock cycle in r3 we will have ai sorry a1 into b1 and in R4 we will have C1 at the same time next instruction will enter into the pipeline this here A2 and B2 will be fetched yes what will happen in third clock cycle so if we will go with the third clock cycle then in third clock cycle addition of this both will be performed so A1 into b1 plus c1 will be done at the same time this will enter into the second phase so a2 into b2 will be done and c2 will be retrieved from the memory and in third means in first segment a3 and b3 will enter into the pipeline clear so uh, let me complete uh, rest of the operation so you can have idea that how it will be done so in next clock cycle again uh, a2 into b2 plus c2 will be done here uh, 
a3 into b3 will be done and c3 will be fetched from the memory uh, next instruction will enter into the pipeline which will be a4 and b4 now in next clock cycle uh, let's say this a3 into b3 plus c3 will be done then uh, here a4 into b4 will be done and c4 will be fetched from memory and next element will be fetched from the memory so that will be a5 b5 in next clock cycle uh, a4 into b4 plus c4 will be done then a5 into b5 and c5 will be fetched from the memory and cycle number 6 a6 b6 will be done in next clock cycle a5 into b5 plus c5 then here a6 into b6 and c6 will be fetched from the memory then a7 b7 will be fetched from the memory in next clock cycle a6 into b6 plus c6 here a7 into b7 and c7 will be fetched and in next clock cycle this uh, instruction means pipeline segment 1 it will be empty why because we are having only 7 element so in last cycle so this will be empty here a7 into b7 plus c7 will be implemented this will be empty this segment will be empty initially uh, while first instruction is entering into the pipeline then segment 2 and segment 3 will be empty and in next clock cycle only segment 3 so if we if we go with the normal execution and then let's say that uh, we require uh, once uh, three second to perform uh, to evaluate this expression and then we are uh, having seven value then uh, three into seven so total 21 second will be required while in this case if you assume that each segment require one second then uh, we will complete the multiplication of all element by eight second okay so we can say it is almost three time faster means pipeline system is three time faster compared to the conventional system now uh, if you look at the uh, conventional uh, pipeline okay then this is how it will look like we will give data and instruction as an input to segment and then it will be forwarded and definitely there will be common clock between all the segment so here uh, first segment will perform first operation it will store result into r1 and then it uh, it will fetch the next uh, operand uh, means data and instruction and then again it will be uh, the result of r1 will be forwarded to segment 2 a uh, segment 2 will prepare the uh, or it will execute the sub task and then at the same time s1 is uh, uh, executing the previous instruction means next instruction into the previous segment then uh, at next clock cycle what will happen uh, this will store result into r2 and r2 will be available into s3 segment 3 so the first instruction is in uh, third segment second instruction will be in second segment uh, se second segment and the third instruction will be in first segment at next clock cycle first will be in fourth then second will be in third then third will be in second and fourth will be in first at next clock cycle first will be in five uh, fourth uh, sorry second will be in fourth then third will be in third sec uh, then fourth will be in second and fifth will be in one okay so linear execution will be there and last segment it will store the archives okay so at that time if you look at the pipeline then there will be parallel execution of instruction instruction one instruction two instruction three instruction four and instruction five 
okay so this is how uh, pipeline can be created or it can be implemented uh, to achieve the parallel execution okay but uh, while we are designing pipeline uh, instead of uh, implementing this kind of multiplier and adder okay there will be certain kind of uh, circuit that will uh, that will perform the task which is common to all the instruction okay so in this tutorial we will keep up to this more we will discuss in next tutorial so in next tutorial we will try to discuss what is pipeline speed up ratio and uh, we will try to create a time space diagram uh, how it will be uh, implemented or means uh, how time space diagram can be created for uh, instruction in time so that's it thank you